your baby boy would one day walk on water. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save your sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy had come to make you new? This child that you delivered would soon deliver you. Mary, did you Black rifle he saw on TV. This is back in the day when you were allowed to have rifles, by the way. <laughs> his parents were a poor family. His dad was a farmer. His mom stayed at home to take care of him, two older sisters, and a younger brother. All he cared about was that rifle. So for Christmas, when he found out his parents had saved all their money they had to get to buy him this rifle, he was excited. Christmas Eve came, and he was pretty sad because his dad broke the news to him they couldn't afford it. He didn't do anything that day. He just sat around, acted lazy. When his dad came home, he uh, ate supper together. They ate supper. And when they went to sit in front of the fireplace for their evening worship, his dad got his coat on and his scarf on and went outside. And he came back five minutes later and said, Jake, it's time to go. Uh, the boy was confused because this was the worship time and it was quite cold outside. Why would anybody want to go outside on Christmas Eve when there's a nice warm fire? Well, he got dressed and went outside and as soon as he stepped out the door, he saw their farm truck sitting in the driveway already running. This kind of puzzled him. But he got in, and they drove out to the back barn. And um, all his dad said was put the um, sideboards on the edge of the truck. So he obeyed. 
didn't know why. As he was putting the last board on the truck, he asked, Dad, why are we doing this? His dad replied, Since we couldn't afford your rifle, we spent the money on something else. That's all he said. Can you imagine a 15-year-old boy hearing that? Well, he got kind of upset with his dad, but didn't say anything. But they took the truck up to the next barn, right next to their house, the the woodshed, and they filled the truck with all their wood they had, except for the logs that weren't cut. And they drove to the store, and he watched his dad spend all the rifle money on shoes, five different pairs of shoes, a cake, and some hot chocolate. This kind of upset him, and he started to get upset with his dad and started yelling at him. That didn't go very well. So, they were driving down the road, and he wasn't talking to his dad now, but... They pulled up to a family who lived in the, in their own shop, and they sold, um, it was a pawn shop. They sold anything they could find. And when they came up to the door, they he met this family that his dad works with that they'd never seen before. And it was, her husband had died a couple years earlier from cancer. And they had three kids and herself, and they went inside, and they talked for a bit, and the, the kid was just sitting in the car. He didn't want to go inside with his dad. He was too upset. But his dad came back out and told him to help him carry some wood inside. When he went inside carrying five pieces of wood, he looked around. They had a couch and a radio and a, one picture on the wall. This kind of upset him because he was wondering why they were giving all their wood to somebody who wouldn't be paying for it. He only still wanted his rifle. But they gave him all the wood and he was still upset with his dad. And his dad asked him to go bring the gifts in and give them out to the kids. Now his dad didn't know what shoe sizes the kids were, but he had that gut feeling of what size to get. And as he handed out those shoes to those kids and seen them fit perfectly, made him cry. All of his money he went to was from his rifle to these kids his dad knew very little about. And all they all fit perfectly. When they gave him their Christmas meal, which was cake and candy, not that great, um, he saw the kids' faces light up, and it meant something to him. On their way home, he being a 15-year-old boy, was embarrassed to cry, but he couldn't help it. He saw a family that wasn't looking for a rifle, but looking for shoes and clothing for one day. So I challenge you this Christmas to give something up that you want so much to somebody that has less. Give somebody else a gift. And let God tell you who to give and what to give.